with the head and neck part i was uh, reading the speed the last videos and the daily session which was conducted by dr teja this uh, this last few months uh, with the previous videos in correlation so that helped me i'll say ki speed gt was very good i've i've done just eight gts twice also so that also helped in understanding the pattern of questions they tend to ask so i bring in lot of wishes and greetings from all Thank the faculty you, members of speed medical institute to dr vinithi for scoring a topmost rank of aml rank number 3 yes sir in specialty of mca head and neck oncology in any ss october 2024 session congratulations to you doctor thank you sir thank you so much doctor can we know about your brief background history where you started till date what all you have done sir i did my mbbs from kalinga yeah. bhubaneswar after which i did my msc and d from gmc at chandigarh and then i worked briefly as an sr in delhi post which i gave my fnb exam in head and neck oncology and currently i am pursuing fnb in tata medical center in calcutta okay during which i uh, joined here in june so 6 months exposure to head and neck oncology which made me realize i want to pursue it as a mch also and i started preparation mid of the year only uh, so i gave my october exam for mch head and neck uh with the limited time i get with my work as a fnb candidate also uh so i gave my exam in october and now the results are here great doctor now once you decided to do a head and neck oncology I mean yes, what all you did how you prepared and can you tell us more on your preparation strategies uh so sir actually this time the paper was little bit uh, different as a lot of general surgery questions came uh so i did my mrcs part a last year so i was well aware with the general surgery part also that helped me in this paper also and with the head and neck part i was uh, reading the speed the last videos and the daily session which was conducted by dr teja this uh, this last few months uh, with the previous videos in correlation so that helped me and uh, since currently i was also pursuing it so i was also correlating practically uh, with whatever i was reading here uh, which in all correlated uh, things together so aims always had this set a set of pattern of topics they tend to touch so i was making sure ki i don't do mistakes on those make sure topics uh, but otherwise rest everything can go unpredictable but there are certain favorites they have Uh, so i also analyzed previous papers uh, which helped me to make sure you don't do mistakes on the sure short sure topics they always tend to ask great doctor now can you know how many questions did you attempt uh sir i went little aggressive uh, so i attempted 72 questions uh, uh -huh. i don't know how <laughs> would this be a good decision or not but i thought ki uh, since the general surgery paper are uh, general surgery questions are here almost 19 to 20 questions were there so if you don't uh, do aggressive and if you just mm -hmm. since i am from ent background i would have been conser conservative on those questions so you would not have uh, qualified also for the part for the interview so i thought ki i have to be aggressive even whatever memory i had of general surgery so i had to use that also um so i went little bit aggressive this time great doctor now what will be your advice to the future aspirants of mca general neck oncology uh so it's been a recent current favorite among ent students uh, because earlier uh, it was not as explored as possible so lot of my juniors and everybody exploring this option so with head and neck oncology in the preparation part i would say a uh, basic uh, general surgery has to be taken in consideration a uh, not just neat even i n i is now focusing on that also also uh, the classifications the tables the these are very important on the gradings and uh, tnm staging these are not the places to do mistakes and uh, rest multiple revision revision is also very important uh, because these are the topics there some topics are very volatile so don't focus on going too extensive focus on completing and then revising multiple times that would be my advice also lot of pic, uh, picture questions they are asking so 
uh, understand the question and understand instruments they are asking so you need you know, just sitting in the room will not help you have to also work in the hospital and understand what is going around here so observe wherever you are working Ob be observant if you are working in head and neck or in ENT only, so be observant of what is happening, uh, because it, correlation in I nine exams are I feel is more important. Great, doctor. Now it's time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they have, I mean, helped you to build your career till date. Mm -hmm. You can do so using this stuff. Uh, so I would uh, definitely thank my parents first of all. They come from a non-medical background, so I'm a first-generation doctor here. So understanding being ambitious is a new thing coming from a non-medical family. So my parents definitely, and my husband also. I want to thank my uh, siblings, and I want to thank the faculty who has helped me because for ENT people, there is no such platform giving any guidance other than speed. So definitely it was a boon for us uh, to understand how to go forward. Uh, I have watched Dr. Teja's videos 1x, 1.5x, 2x, multiple times, you know, revision based because uh, for once you read, then you revise. So it has helped me. I've saved the videos. Uh, done the screenshot made the pdf so i've done that multiple times so a big thankful to the speed family also and i so gt of uh i'll say ki speed gt was very good i've i've done eight gts twice also so that also helped in understanding the pattern of questions they tend to ask if the question is not repeated at least you'll understand the topic aims tend to touch on it in at this point i9 is more predictable than need so it's better to go with a strategic mind <laughs> than a random just sitting in the exam so it, it helped me uh, quite a lot in that very good doctor great so once again we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in mch and in the best wishes to you doctor thank you sir thank you so much thank you, thank you.